And in health news this morning, for many people, incontinence is an embarrassing problem that they would just like to forget. You may not be able to control your symptoms, but there are ways to manage them. Board certified colon and rectal surgeon Dr. Heather Slay from Spectrum Health Medical Group is joining me now with more information. And thank you so much for being here with thank us. Thank you today. for having me. First of all, let's talk about what is fecal incontinence. Well, fecal incontinence is the inability to control your bowel movements. In our practice, we really see patients with a broad spectrum of complaints, though. Some patients will uh, have the inability to control gas. For others, it's liquid stool. For others, formed or solid stool. And patients will, some patients will say that they have the urge to bowel, have a bowel movement, can't make it to the bathroom, while others feel they don't have the sensation that they have to go until it's too late. Right. Is, this, is there an age associated with this, or can this be it all It can ages? happen at any age. It's more common in older patients and slightly more common in women. Okay. And so this makes it very embarrassing for them to actually want to leave the house, right? You want to it's, it can be very debilitating, and patients are, you know, unfortunately afraid to talk to the doctors about it. So mm -hmm. they won't leave the house or they'll plan their day around, you know, where they may find a bathroom. My goodness. So how does one develop this then? Well, the cause is really is multifactorial. So there's several things that probably contribute. Um, liquid stool or diarrhea is probably one of the most common causes that we see. Mm -hmm. Another common cause is nerve or muscle damage from prior childbirth. And it may have been 20 or 30 years ago, but they're just starting to see the effects of that now. Other causes would be uh, diseases that affect the nerves, such as uh, diabetes or multiple sclerosis or prior stroke and another cause would be prior anal or rectal surgery. Okay, some people might think, okay, so it's happened once or twice and some people it's more frequent, but at what point do you have to say to yourself, right, I really need to see a doctor about all this? Sure. Well, anytime you have concern about your control, we encourage you to talk to your physician, but especially when it really starts to affect your quality of life. life. Like you said, you know, when you're afraid to leave the house or, or plan your day around it. Um, we encourage you to, to seek help. And there, there are some simple things that can help. Um, sometimes simply changing your diet, um, a bowel regimen will help. We recommend a fiber supplement such as Metamucil or Benefiber to bulk the stools. Often Imodium will help. Um, exercises, so some simple things can, can really make a difference. Yeah, and there's a, is, it, is it sacral nerve stimulation too? So in patients that have failed conservative treatment, uh, sacral nerve stimulation or neuromodulation is a new therapy we have available that's really exciting, I think, and really can give patients a lot of hope. Mm -hmm. It's a two-stage procedure. The first is a simple office procedure where we place a small wire underneath the skin, and this wire provides a low level of stimulation to the muscles that supply the uh, pelvic floor, or the rectum, and the anus. It's really targeting the nerve connection between the brain mm -hmm. and the muscles that control your bowels. Mm -hmm. And during a one to two week trial period, if patients have a significant improvement with this small device in, then they would be a, a candidate for the more long-term device, which is a small pacemaker mm -hmm. or essentially a neurostimulator that's inserted into a small pocket in the upper buttock area. This really has to change someone's quality of life when everything's said and done. I, I've had patients come back and say, this has really changed my life. I can do things now. I can go out to dinner. I can wear the clothes I want to wear. It's mm -hmm. life-changing. All right. Well, if people have questions and they want to get uh, reach out to your team, how do they go about doing that? So we are located in the Spectrum Health Building on Lake Drive, 4100 Lake Drive. Our phone number is 616-267-7100. And, uh, of course, visit our website at Spectrum Health that you can see on the, on the screen there. So, once again, you have some minimally invasive procedures that are out there to help these people. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so much for stopping by and offering thank wonderful you, information. Absolutely.